a huge honor and a big delight and it's extremely exciting. It's really, it's a beautiful moment for me. It's really wonderful to see everybody and have a moment to celebrate this movie that, as you say, has been sort of a journey. Besides his speed, probably his altruism and his, um, his moral compass, his willingness to sacrifice and some of the like key details of a hero, uh, I think he embodies them, you know, really fully. Yeah, I think it's their life experience, right? Their experience base has um, made them sort of defined differently. Uh, they've processed things differently and I think they have a, a different outlook. So you have one Barry who is um, seasoned and who's been through a lot of heartache and a lot of pain. Um, and you have another Barry who never really had to go through that stuff, who's had sort of all of the privilege of kind of a cushy life. Um, and so the way they've developed is fundamentally different, you know, and that was really interesting as something to explore and find, you know, between the two of them. And with my other Barrys who are here tonight, a couple of them are here, Sean Rogers and Ed Wade and people who I cultivated this bizarre working relationship with where we were in sort of constant mirroring, uh, reflective work to choreograph and um, sort of inform each other's performances. I'm really grateful to them and it's really nice to have them here. Well, besides just being one of the most glorious, beautiful, wonderful people I've ever been privileged enough to know, I think Andy is such a detailed, creative mind. I think he's perfect for this genre because he's such a visual artist. Um, similar to Zack Snyder who brought me into this whole world, Andy is another director like that who's almost like a comic book visionary. He has his own really detailed, really sophisticated approach. Honestly, he's one of those directors who can have a lot of um, remembrance of scope, like a big story and big effects in a big world, but who can also remember and be really focused on the details, like the little things. You know, I think this was the most fun I had uh, playing this part. It wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't a lot of work. It was really a cameo, you know, and um, I didn't expect or anticipate to, to do this. And, but, you know, I love Andy and, and I really was excited and I had such a great experience with Ezra. I really was thrilled to come back and do it. And I really, I don't want to give it away, but I love the little idea that was, um, that I got to do. And I felt like I finally sort of figured out my, you know, what I really kind of looked into about, about this part. And I really enjoyed it. I had a wonderful time and, uh, I love the movie and, and it's really fun. And it has, has a really good spirit of, of kind of, um, balance, which is the tone is a, a difficult thing with these movies, like trying to figure out how serious, how dark, how funny, how engaging it is. And, and you know, people that have done it really well have really struck a balance with that tone. And I feel like Andy really did that with this movie. And um, so it's a lot of fun. I, I really had a great time. And, um, you know, I, I, it was over too soon. Yeah, you know, it was kind of built over these movies as a nice sort of, I guess, sort of, um, semi sort of mentorship, you know, uh, this is a, a young person who's sort of looking for, um, you know, guidance, isn't sure about, you know, he's got a lot of responsibility with these powers. It's kind of a theme that these movies tend to play with is like, what is the responsibility that you have when you've been given a great deal and you're able to do a lot? And it's what comes with these sort of wish fulfillment stories. And it's a very when it's explored in an interesting way like this, it's really fun and it's nice for me to get a chance to play the, the sort of uh, older, wiser character with uh, something to impart to the younger character. It's, it's nice. I feel comfortable doing it. It makes me feel like, well, I guess I've been around long enough to play this part and uh, it's like a little personal sense of, of achievement, you know, and uh, I love it. I, I've done this enough to really just know how lucky I am and have a chance to enjoy it, enjoy the experience. This is like a younger, newer, um, succinct kind of fresh faced, innocent um, character who can make mistakes. Uh, and then that's really what's fun and interesting about it. It's like, we feel like, oh yeah, I'd love to have these superpowers. And often you don't think like, what happens if you like do something wrong? You know what I mean? Make a mistake because we all make mistakes in our lives. And all of a sudden, if you're able to say change time, you know, go back in time and change events, that's a heavy thing to, to a heavy responsibility. and. There's a lot of fun in, in you know, as a, as a young person, I think, you know, there's a, a stage of life where you look back and look back at your parentage, look back at your life, think about how things have been, what if they have been different and want to fix them. And part of the arc that I kind of keyed into just in terms of my little 
part in this movie was as a character who's talking to him about the value of kind of learning to come to terms with what it is. Life is in all of its perfection and difficulty and sometimes pain and uh, as well as the joy and to learn to, to find some acceptance in that. She has a lot of heart. She loves deeply and carries pride and, and, and hope on her chest. Always hopeful, always loving. To be playing Supergirl means the world to me. Um, she's everything to me. You know, I was a kid with, with massive dreams and now I'm here playing one of the most iconic heroes. I love her deeply. I'm, I'm so excited for people to see her and connect with her and know that they're also up there with me. The first time I saw myself as Supergirl on screen, it was a very surreal experience. I was constantly pinching myself. Um, I think tonight when I see the movie with my family, it's going to be a big deal for me. Preparing for the stunts was my favorite part of the entire film. My stunt team, Eunice, Mikey, Talila, Jade, all the boys, they were my family. I miss them so much and I can't wait until they see the movie. Um, but I would sleep, eat, breathe, fight in that room. So I'm excited for everybody to see it. It was kind of a trip because uh, I thought I was dead. So I didn't think I was going to come back. But then they, they said, oh no, it's a multiverse. So you can come back now. And, well, he always wants the same thing. He's always looking for a new Krypton. His uh, creativity, his vision, his, his visual sensibility. He's got a great uh, sense of uh, humor and lightness. I just hope everybody's happy, as happy as they can possibly be. And maybe watching The Flash will make them a little happier than they were before they saw it. I think that it, it's that he didn't get all of it, you know? I think, uh, I, I feel like all of the superheroes in this one lost their parents at some point. And uh, so, yeah, I think Barry is kind of going through a lot of imagining of what his relationship could have been. Andy, I mean, besides all the technical brilliance that kind of allows him to hold this entire sprawling thing in, in his head and, and you know, be able to do the CGI and the visuals and all of that. I, at its heart, I think he really understands that the story is kind of about relationships and heart. And uh, I think it's hard to hold on to that uh, in the midst of all of the other stuff. The great thing about movies is that everybody who comes in and sits in a seat kind of brings their own brings their own movie to the screen uh, in their inter interaction with it. Um, I know it's going to be fun. I know it's going to be exciting. Uh, but it's gonna, I think it's an individual ride for every single person. Andy is the perfect director because Andy somehow finds a way to, especially with this film, well, not just with this film, with it as well, to take stories from when we were younger that we know so well and to bring them to life in a way that we imagine for them to be brought to life and we hope for. I think the film is really satisfying. Um, and a lot of the fans are going to get exactly what it is they wanted, you know? And that's a really special thing to be able to accomplish, especially with a superhero movie. The experience will be a fun one. It's thrilling. It's exciting, especially the beginning. When you first see Ezra go into that flash position before they take off is so exciting. It made my heart like beat faster. I feel very excited because this is the first time I'd be seeing it and I want everyone to have a great time here. I think uh, Barry Allen is one of the fan favorites because he is very smart and his power is very cool. It feels amazing. I mean, uh, I've been a part of this project for a while and I'm very close with the filmmaker. He's like a brother. So to see it all come to fruition is a dream come true. Foremost, working with uh, Andy Muschietti and Barbara, his sister, um, it's just a dream because they give you so much freedom to explore and improvise and I didn't know a ton going into it but I did my homework and my research and uh, it was so fun you know it's like a, a clean slate I got to, to create my own ver iteration of this character and it was a lot of fun. It's the best moment of the whole process as you said you know it's been three years and a half for us and many more years for, for others uh, especially for the audiences that have been waiting for this uh, big adventure for so long so we're extremely happy and this is the best moment we can't wait for the world to see it to you know to see the joy that this guy has created with an amazing team go enjoy it go have fun barry allen is uh 
of all the superheroes, he's uh, one of the more more human. He's a deeply, deeply human character, and their journey, the emotional journey that that he has in this movie is is uh, is something that we had to tell the story uh, uh, about. And I'm very, very happy that we that we had the opportunity to. Well, you couldn't ask for more, really. Um, I, we were very lucky that we had a story uh, and, uh, and a group of characters that immediately draw the attention uh, of, of, of these incredible actors. Uh, so I couldn't be more happy and more grateful, really. An embarrassment of riches. We got all the cast we wanted, our first choices. They were supreme. We made a beautiful film because of them, so we want to thank them. Uh, well, there's a lot of emotions, so I put basically everything that I like. Everything that I like is in the movie. Everything I like, I love from movies. So, you know, there's a bunch of like, uh, like three-dimensional characters. There's a lot of humor. Uh, there's a lot of emotion and there's a big, big adventure. But overall, there's a big, big heart in the middle of it. Uh, so people will see uh, a different kind of superhero movie with the Flash.